Right. Welcome, welcome. <laughs> um, so, uh, Bowler Hat Man, uh, for anybody that doesn't know, uh, this was the uh, gentleman whose video that I replied to in my last video, and you said that you you said on Twitter that you wanted to have a debate with me over freedom of speech. Then is that right? Yep. Right. Okay. And so, which points is it I've made that you're looking to contest? Um, well, I'm looking really to do where your boundaries really on freedom of speech are. Are you a complete free speech absolutist, or do you think there should be lines in the sand somewhere? If you could give me an example of something specifically, because I'm still well. Let's take yeah. well, let's take your own video for example. Your 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 now infamous Nazi pug video. Uh -huh. That's that's I think that's that's probably the best example we can make. Um, you know, you, your your phrase. I mean, I don't want to get you any more trouble than you are. I mean, am I allowed to say it or? Because I, I don't want to get you in more trouble. No, you can say. So, no, it's in, do you want it's to in, I'm allowed it, to say it? Or if it's in context, if you, you're, yeah, if you're you want me to say it, <laughs> yeah, if you're paraphrasing, like it's fine. Well, okay, so you talk about context. Uh -huh. So the context of gas the Jews is exactly as it sounds. It's referring to the Holocaust, and he's basically a callback, saying, "Yeah, the Holocaust was a good thing. Let's do it again." No, no, it's not. <laughs> that's that's not what it means in any aspect. The context yes, of it was in a, was yes, in a joke. Yes, it does. It this doesn't. What how, you are saying. How, how this is why I believe in freedom of speech, uh -huh. but I will not defend you on this because I'm not, it's really I'm not asking, racist. I'm, I'm not, sorry, but I won't defend you. That's what I said right. in my video to you. That's right. I'm not asking. I'm not asking for you to defend me. I'm a I'm a big boy. I can defend myself. But see how the context of what a phrase being said is. Right, I was saying it. Obviously, no, it's not. Yeah, the context. How can you, well, tell me how else do you paraphrase "gas the Jews" other than an actual phrase to "gas the Jews"? Okay, so what 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 context was how, I saying it? How how can you parcel that into something that's comedy? Are we expecting you to go on a comedy tour soon about you know witty repartee about the Armenian genocide, or how about some? really edgy stuff about the Rwandan genocide. Are you going to go do comedy stuff about that and make that funny? Because... Yeah, I probably would try that actually. The Rwandan one doesn't have a lot of jokes about it, so you know, that may be new territory that I could go into, because you know, that's the point of comedy. Literally anything and everything can and should be joked about. Nothing is safe as far as comedy goes, but the purpose of comedy is to laugh. And even though you says that you're trying to say that me saying that in that context is me actively trying to encourage the Holocaust or trying to say that I directly find the Holocaust itself funny. I mean, joking about something is nowhere near the same as being happy that it happened. Like, that's not the same thing at all, and it's definitely not if encouraging. If it's not the same thing at all, then why joke about it at all if you know what a sensitive subject that is going to be to certain people in society? Because I don't really care if I hurt people's feelings. But you're, you're saying that people died uh -huh. in the most horrific way possible in the most one of the most con you know contemplated murders mass murders in the 20th century mm -hmm. and you're basically saying yeah um oh, that's funny i find it funny no I that's that's not, feelings, that's not about feelings that's not what i, I said still find it funny that's not what i said i don't find the holocaust itself funny but how this is this is my original point how can you say that gas the jews is anything other than a well, an anti-Semitic message. <laughs> because uh, it's the context in which the it's, it's I mean, the, how, how it's, can you defend that as as freedom of speech? It's not. It depends it's, on the it's, context it's in which it's being said. Why cross the line into <laughs> blatant office racism, casual racism, and you're being punished for it. And I think that you're not really campaigning for freedom of speech. Uh -huh. I think you're more campaigning for freedom of consequence, free speech. I've not and said that. I've uh... <laughs> people like Tommy Robinson, who you again defended. Who right. not can can I address speech. your points? You're, you're going off on a rant here. You've made several points. I'd like to address okay, sorry about that. some yeah, of them. Sorry. Right. Uh, yeah. It's fine. Okay. And you're turning around and saying that the phrase itself is a racist phrase. It's anti-Semitic, blah, blah, blah. It all depends on the context in which it's said. Like, for example, have you seen the movie Django? Yes. Right, okay then. So, for some of the things that he said 
in Django? Is Leonardo DiCaprio a racist? Well, he's playing a character that's meant to be racist. Right, okay then. So the context of it there matters. Basically, his attempt was to obviously put on a performance. So you've acknowledged what he was attempting to do. Why have? Why can't you acknowledge what I was attempting to do? Because the, the idea of the joke itself, in order for you to be shocked by, you know, the why phrase, you have to acknowledge. Oh, hold on, I've got a okay, okay, you yes. used, okay. You yeah. used in your in your video for Bullet 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 You used two phrases. You used Gas the Jews three times during the first two minutes. Why did you not just use Heil Hitler? Context does not matter. And include Gas the Jews as well. You could have used, you know, you could have used Heil Hitler. That would have been perfectly fine. I don't think you'd have got nearly as much attention from it. Yeah, uh, how, how Hitler wasn't vulgar enough. I wanted the dog to react to the most horrible phrase that I could think of, and that was it. So basically, my entire premise for the joke was me acknowledging that Gas the Jews is a horrible phrase, but that was part of the joke. Okay, so you're going to do a video where you go and, I don't know, talk about the Rwandan genocide? You know, you've said that's new areas, so I fully expect you to see a video of, you know, you and your pug reenacting, you know, scenes from the Rwandan genocide. I wouldn't, you know? I wouldn't involve Maybe the dog, it's a dead meme. Of dirt and bury him and, you know, up to his head, you know? <laughs> <laughs> no, like, uh, getting the dog to react to vulgar phrases is a dead fucking meme. It was it was dead, like, two weeks after I uploaded the video. Like, this is, this is a meme that should have died a long time ago, but it won't die because the bloody courts in the media keep it alive. You know, it's a dead meme, so it's not something that I would repeat. Not in the sense of principle, in the sense of it's just not funny anymore. It was funny for a bit, but now it's old. So you're not willing to repeat that on principle, but you're also not willing to uh, no, pay I'm... the money on principle for your jokes. No, so I, said, I, said, I, I, I said I want to, more, no, to, I... More to no. suffer more, more to martyr for your cause for free speech. No, that's not what I said. I said I wouldn't do it again, not out of principle. I would do it on the basis that the joke's not funny anymore. Like, it's a dead joke. I mean, like, I'm not going to make the same joke over and over because it's stale and boring, which is why... That's why well, I'm not I, making I the joke again. you said Gas the Jews was funny. It was. It's not anymore because it's a dead joke. I mean, if you hear the same knock-knock joke over and over and over again, it, you know, it, it kind of stops being funny. That's how comedy works. If you hear the same joke over and over, like, it's not funny anymore. So, like, that's why I'm not doing the joke, because it's a dead joke. It's been done. I'm not going to repeat old material that everybody's already heard. That's not how comedy works. I mean, think, do you know any comedian that would get very far if they just made the exact same jokes every single show? Uh, Peter Kay did, and I think Peter Kay's been quite successful in the same joke for, for what? Two decades? Not a decade now? What is it? His entire back catalogue is just the exact same jokes. Because I've seen, uh, I've seen multiple. Yeah, uh, of, I've seen cheesecake, mul garlic right. bread. Pretty much the same premise, just different word. Right. Okay. And I've seen a lot of Peter Kay's stand up. Right. I've seen a lot of his stuff. He doesn't. His entire set's different. There may be some similarities in his stand up, but you know, I'd say probably about ninety nine percent of the jokes he makes is all new material, depending on what tour he's doing usually have the same jokes for an entire tour and then when you tour next year you have a new set written that's the way it works he's not just been making the exact same jokes every show well, every tour i'll disagree with you on that point he, he pretty much has been making the same joke i must have been watching this guy that looks surprisingly a lot like peter k then he's got a doppelganger well, I'm sorry, but he definitely has been repeating the same joke. But anyway, get well, back to because yeah. we're, we're going to talk about bloody Peter K now. Um, yeah, getting back to the uh, point, um, you still haven't explained why "gas the Jews" and is an, expect an acceptable phrase. You haven't put it. That's the into point. Your context that, that's yet. the point. It's not acceptable. That was the point. That's the point of the joke. That's the way shock humor works. I mean, humor wouldn't. You know, it's not shock humor if it's not shocking and in order to do that you sometimes have to utter a shocking phrase okay why is a racist joke bad to say it's a bit of a loaded question if i'm being honest like i know i know people you know i, I find anti-white jokes quite funny i know people who are black who find black jokes funny you know it's not it's not a you know 
all-encompassing thing that apparently every single person on Earth feels this way because they don't. Some people like them, some people don't I'll, like I'll them. I agree with you on that point. I yeah. I know I've got a disabled friend and he self-deprecates about him, himself and his disability all the time. But, you know, I wouldn't go up to him and say, you know, ha-ha, you're disabled. Oh, I've done it. I've got, I've got a friend who's in a wheelchair and I do that to him all the time. Yeah, but you've got to see that there's a difference between wanting to shock people and just generally wanting to be offensive. I mean, you well, a, a, mostly, I, mostly I like to make people laugh, but, but through offensive jokes because those are the types of jokes that I enjoy, and most of the people viewing this right now enjoy as well. Yeah, but you've got to understand, you're not going to please a large audience. Oh, and I don't, me, I don't care about that. You see, revel <laughs> more in the fact that you upset people rather than make people laugh yeah because you can't you can't help but find it a little bit funny when you make some sort of minor joke i mean even look at doom like did you see the controversy about the new doom trailer no i haven't seen that right doom doom released a new gameplay doom looks amazing by the way by doom uh, and what they did was they made a joke where they say the the term demon is offensive and it's like you should use the term something like mortally challenged so they made it like an sjw joke and that minor little tiny thing right pissed off so many people so many people get furious about it demanding that the developers apologize and all this type of shit like over a joke as minor as that so it's a case of like it's literally that's these days it's literally impossible well, that's, that's to not be offensive you can go all the way back to pre-internet days and you can look at the daily mail oh it's not it's nowhere it's, it's nowhere a joke that was said on like not the nine o'clock news oh no it has never been as bad as it is now no, yes no, it's, it's always been pretty much the same it's just it's that not the internet been... <laughs> allows people to connect. no it's not <laughs> that's it where it's come from it hasn't pretty it's much always been the same connectivity that's really driven this it it's hasn't the idea that nothing's changed no it's still the same it, it literally it literally has not outrage culture has never been at the level that it has been at right now like there's never been a time in history where so many people have been fired so many companies have been attacked so many comedians no, are pretty I think much you will no i think if you look you, you okay. generally go and do the legwork you go back through history okay and you go back to can you give me 90s, some examples then? the 80s i guarantee can, can you, you give me some examples who were uh, can you give me examples then? For doing the same stuff they do now. Okay. Can you give me examples of that happening? Like, where, where have you seen this? No, but I guarantee that you can find it. R right, okay then. If you, obviously, I, I if you're saying that... I to go out there and do the legwork. I guarantee you can oh, find okay, it. Okay then, well, obviously, you yourself, personally, have... Obviously, you've seen this information, so you know it. So, can you give me some examples from the information that you've seen to support this claim you're making? Uh, no, I can't, but... Okay. This is one of the things that I'm pretty much asserting, and unless someone can prove me wrong... Alright, okay, are we really, are we really going to do uh, the God is real argument is real because you can't prove he's not? Is that, uh, is that the road no, you're really going to go down? No, but what I'm saying is, look, if you, if I, I'm, you literally, literally what you're asking me to do is to start digging through actual, properly, properly physical archives to, to look up this. This isn't going to take, like, ten minutes okay, right. to do. Okay. Okay. Then. Well, it's, it's the fact is, it's the fact is, if we're, if we're debating points, you, like, this has happened before. No. You, is, yeah, I'm not saying it's not this happened is before. Something new in culture. I'm not. I'm not saying it hasn't happened before. It absolutely has. What I'm saying is, it's and never why been to the prevalence when you're saying that. <laughs> oh my God! Because because if you let me finish my point, I'm not saying it's not happened before. I'm just saying that it's never happened to the extent that it's happening now. No, it has. It was going on all the time. Right. Okay. I understand. It was happening. It was happening. Yes, it was. But no, never to the extent. The internet. That's all that's changed. Right. Fuck me. Right. It was happening. I'm not denying that it didn't happen. What I'm saying is, it's never happened to the extent that it's happening now. Yeah, and what I'm saying is the reason that is is because of the internet. Right. But you were. You, yeah. But you're saying that that the reason it is is because of the internet. So you agree that it's happening to more of an extent now no what you're getting is you're getting more attention from it than there would have been in the past this idea that it still happened probably to the same extent but what you get now is you get the fear mongers you get in the 90s i mean you're old enough to remember the video are you old enough to remember the video nasties nasties i don't remember that no 
No, you're sure, sure you've got to remember the video nasties about, you know, the Daily Mail ran an entire campaign about um, video nasties, and this is what led to the, um, oh, the age restrictions on videos. Um, because there were, there were films literally called Driller Killer, and it was basically, uh, again, as, as simple as it sounds, it was about a killer with a power drill, goes around murdering people. The Daily Mail lost their, you know, they lost their rag completely about this. Okay, then. Um, so to say that this wasn't happening, all that it is now, I'm not, is yeah. that we now have people with an access to massive platforms being able to boost themselves to even more bigger audiences. And it's the same outrage, just that people now have an ability to um, keep that outrage going for longer than okay, it used okay to. Then, okay, and so what, but Vic Ray, I think you've missed the point that I was trying to make, right? So see how, for example, like this is, I'll try and, I'll try and frame it in this way. Let's say in the 90s, you know, you had 100 people in the room. Three of them would maybe have been part of outrage culture, right? So now what I'm saying is, in current day, you know, 2018, you've got 100 people in the room. Maybe 50 of them out of the 100 are part of the outrage culture and they're easily offended and want things shut down and so on and so on. That's the point I'm making. So basically, you're getting more and more people who are a member of the outrage culture. That's that's the point that I was making. No, what I, what I would say is nothing has changed. There's still those three members. It's just those three members now have the ability to project to a larger platform. Okay, then it's just that you could still, you know, write to companies and everything before. You could complain at your local newspaper. You could write to the companies and all that type of shit. You could do that. It's just back then companies didn't bend the knee as much, which is why it didn't happen as much. But now, yeah, because it, back then, if you were pissed off at something, you might write. Uh, I don't know. You'd write a letter to the, your your local newspaper. But what they would do if they just throw it in the bin. Now, if someone's upset at something in their local newspaper, uh -huh. they can go onto Twitter. Okay, so and the, they the... basically now have an access to a larger audience. Right, That's basically it's, it. It's just that things still travel through word of mouth. Yeah, they do to a huge extent. Like companies are aware of that. As someone who used to work in customer service myself, that that was something that we considered. Like, see how if one person phones up to complain and you basically go, yeah, whatever, and hang up on them, that person's then going to tell about twenty or thirty people not to use your service. That's that's yeah. something that you take into consideration. And companies have been very, very aware of that for a long time. So basically, yeah, they exactly. did. Yeah. No, nothing's changed. Okay, the thing things have changed. Then why 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 is it such a hot why is it such a hotbed now? The internet's been around since the nineties, man. Since the early nineties, well, home use internet to a wide scale. Like it's been around since the nineties, but why why is it just now? That it's so fucking extreme. You're getting comedians attacked left and right, deplatforming on a massive scale, people getting fired and all that as well. Like, do you agree with James Gunn being fired? Forget it's the development of the internet, really, what you're talking about. But right. it's not development of the internet. It's not job. it's not the development um, of the internet, it's, it's society like developing to that point. A lot of people now and do not or don't realise there is a clause in their contract where you say if you bring disrepute to this company, uh -huh. you can be fired. Okay. That is nothing new. Okay then. But basically, so people but, being fired over stuff, a company can just let, go to your contract and say, look, when you started working for us, you signed this contract that says if you bring this company into any dis ill disrepute, mm -hmm. we... Are you cut off? That's... You cut off a bit there. Oh, sorry. Yeah. Basically, the company can say if you bring this company company into disrepute. So let's say someone's working for Dankula Industries and at the beginning of their working time with you, you basically include this in the contract. If you bring Dankula Industries into ill disrepute, we can fire you. Uh, we don't have to give notice. We, we will just get rid of you. So okay. what do you do with an employee, for example, who basically has brought your company into disrepute? Well, it would depend. It would depend what disrepute that is. Like, if you got in a punch up outside a bar, I wouldn't fire him because I'd be like, "Yeah, fucking whatever, mate. It happens. We've all been there." It would depend what 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 is disrepute. What is disrepute enough to basically so, justify the firing? This is the thing. I work, I work a lot in digital media, and I see this all the time. You have people on their Twitter profiles basically saying, "I work for this company." You have people on their Facebooks basically saying, "I work for this company." The second you say something. Mm -hmm. You've got that company into trouble. That may not sound fair to a lot of people, but that's how a lot of these companies and industries work. 
Uh, but that's the thing is, I, one mistake I never made was I never ever made public where I worked. I never put, you know, when I was working for places, I never put it in my Facebook, never put it in my bio. I never shared it anywhere. That's, yeah. that, that's an easy way around so it. You became so big, you became a news story. So your place of work found out about it, didn't they, like that? I mean, what was, I was something I was actually interested to know, what actually happened uh, the morning uh, you got fired from that job? What what actually happened? Were you taken into HR or what What did they say? Oh, no, I was in Iceland. I just got an email. Um, I just turned, It was actually during the eFanfest keynote speech. I just turned around to my friends with my phone laughing, going, I just got fired because it was a minimum wage call centre job. So I did not give a shit. I did not give a shit about getting fired. They actually did me a favour. And uh, I just went out and got drunk. I didn't care about losing that job. It was a shit job for shit money. So, like, I really didn't care about the fact that I get fired. Do you still have that email, by chance, or...? Because I'd like to see that. It's not an old email. Like, I've actually... I th I'm pretty sure I've actually got it. It's even one of my old Nazi Pug update videos. I think it's number one. I've actually got a screenshot of the email in that one. Yeah, I, I guarantee there will be something about bring bringing disrepute on uh, the company no, like no, that. They actually refused to provide the reason. contract that you would have no. signed when you started working for no, them. No, they actually refused to provide a reason. They did. I could even go and actually have a quick look if you want. Um, well, the thing is, if they don't give you a reason why they fired you, you've then got recourse to go back and sue them for wrongful firing. I was on a... I was, I, I was with an agency, so it's different. It was through an agency. So, like, I was, I was like a contractor in a way, kind of. Right, okay. Well, again, we're getting, we're getting off topic yeah, here, but you are. still haven't defined um, why you think Gas the Jews um, is a, you know, a funny thing to say, given I, its context. I actually have uh, twice, no, but um, yeah, I have. <laughs> you, just, you just go on to say something about, oh, it's, it's, it's something else. But no, the context is, is what I've already said. Okay, How then, can so... you say something like that? It's funny. Okay, it depends on the context in which it's said. Like, for example, like, no, it's not. It the context does. of cast the Jews is, as I said, it's look. The okay, then. was a thing. Okay, you're you're saying okay, so again. you've you've just said it way way more times in this chat than I have. You've said it, so you've also well, broken I the law. The context didn't matter. But oh, so it's, oh, right. Okay, then. So sudden, suddenly, you know, I can play so, that word came to. So. so no, suddenly context matters for you though, because you've said it. Well, well it's, how, it how didn't matter for you how, when you're how trying to you? defend yourself in court against how, it. How can, how can you say such a vulgar and terrible thing? I mean, what, what, why could you say that in any context? Well, how can you? See, this is the thing. is, you're, I'm using your own argument against you and you're not realising. It actually feels kind of bad. I know you're using it against me, but you won't even explain yourself, so why should I explain I have. To you? Like, the point of the joke, right? <laughs> Fucking hell. The point no, 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 no. <laughs> what is... Break down for me the phrase, gas the Jews. Go on, break break it down for me. The phrase, well, on its own, if I just walked up to someone in the street and said it, it would sound like a command, like I'm making a threat. In that context, it would look like that. Right? But see, if I make a video where I explain what I'm doing, why I'm doing it, I'm going to make the dog into the worst thing I can think of, which is a Nazi, to piss off my girlfriend because she thinks it's the cutest thing in the world, so I'm going to turn it into the most horrible thing Quite in the world. a while from what I'm led to believe. What? You didn't see that video for quite a while, apparently. I oh, know, because we, the point is that we were going to do is me and Sue used to have like date nights where we would sit and watch random stuff on YouTube. Right, she didn't know about my channel, she wasn't subscribed, so what we were going to do is we were going to sit one date night, watch things on YouTube, and I was going to go, I've got this really great video, by the way, like, you should watch, and then I would put it on and just completely catch her off guard, so she would shit herself and go, what the fuck, just totally catch her off guard, that was the entire plan, but we just, you know, every date night we went out, like, we didn't do the, we didn't do the fucking YouTube thing, sadly. And then uh, I went to Iceland, and then, you know, by that point it was too late, someone had already shared it to Reddit. And I basically had to sort of, like, phone Sue going, uh, don't be mad, something's happened. <laughs> and then she was like, I know, the press are at the door, so... It was a case of it was all set up and ready to go, just the opportunity never arose. That was it. Right, okay, so... Why then, again, getting back to the original point, Yeah. why is that phrase, you think, funny to say? Holy shit! Um, I've 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 literally just explained it to you. I've explained it three no, times. No, you now. haven't. You 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 started saying, "Oh, um, it's funny in this context," but the phrase is itself 
is anti-Semitic, okay. why are you saying it? <laughs> I've I've explained that, mate. I'm sorry. I've I've explained it three times now. If see if see if you no, don't no, understand, you you're just it's... saying, oh, it's funny. No, but that's not what I said. Not to understand? <laughs> this is why I'm not going to defend you. I am for freedom of speech. I've seen a lot of people uh, come through in my comments today saying, okay. "Oh, you're against freedom of speech." No, I'm not against freedom of speech right, okay. at all. So do I you, just won't do defend you... you on this. That, that's fine. I'm not asking you to defend me on it. Right, I'm not asking you to defend me on it, but say for example, that someone's... was the whole point of my video. Uh, uh, I won't defend someone uh, you, like you. Were, you, you, were on tell, this. you were telling people not to defend me. If you don't want to defend me, then that's completely your choice. Yeah, because it's a completely wasted hill to go and die on. Okay, and, but you, do you not feel made, all speech made should be defended? Several times during out this whole thing, that somehow there's this, this because you've been. Um, sentenced by this, it's going to set this terrible precedent. This law has been around since 2002 or 2003. Uh -huh. Where are all these edgy comedians that have been got by this law? It's not comedians they're starting with because they know there'd be too much public outrage. But I mean, for example, Chelsea Russell, she posted rap lyrics on her Instagram and she got charged. There was also based Amy from London who got charged with it because she told someone to have a gay day. There's also that guy for Hull. Who posted some things about migrants, not non-violent, and uh, he's in jail. There was also a guy from I can't remember if it's Dundee or Dunoon, where on Twitter he used the term "rape fugees," you know, non-violent, just an insult, and he ended up getting arrested. So none of them are comedians, then. Yeah, it doesn't matter if they're comedians; they should still be no, entitled. No, you always to... said that this was a slippery slope okay. for comedians. Do, do you? This yeah, I, it does. It does. Of edgy not, comedy. not just comedians. What you're everyone. Saying everyone. Is that once again, <laughs> you are not arguing for freedom of speech. You are arguing for freedom of consequence. No, I'm not. I'm, I'm not saying I'm, right, your dude, that you got dude. fined because you said something that was racist. Right. You can't <laughs> seem to accept that what the phrase you said was racist, and in its context, it is racist. It doesn't matter if you've got this little cute pug dog All due respect, dancing around. Though it is kind off topic bowler peanut I am completely fine with there being social consequences to the things that you say I am not okay with there being legal consequences to the things that you say fuck me mate Fuck me. Same thing. Mate, I've said that so many times. Social consequences, yeah, I am completely fine. Legal, legal and social consequences are pretty much the same thing. No, they're not. This legal and social are not the same. Legal because, consequences and social not, this consequences are not conservatives the mainly at the time because they were scared about um, Muslim uh, extremists okay. saying... Uh, going through uh, offensive free, you know, offensive things. Right, dude, dude, right. Legal consequences and social consequences are well, not where, the same Well, where thing. are you on then the legal consequences for someone like Abu Hamza? Abu Hamza literally incited yeah. violence. He literally said they sh we should kill infidels. That's literally what he said. So, but according to you, you're a free speech absolutist. So no, not until not, not until the incite violence. I said British that. government I to not, dude, free dude, Abu Hamza. Dude, you're totally misrepresenting me just now, right? I did not say that people should be free to ins directly incite violence. I've never said that, right? I am a little bit on the, the fence. The Jews about that. is a phrase that incites okay, violence then. against. Okay, is that Jewish is that is that how you see when you watch that video? When you watch my Nazi pug video, did you interpret that as an incitement to violence? Is that how you read that? That is what the phrase is. Okay, is that how you read it though? Is that how you interpreted that video? I no, I just thought it was stupid. Right, okay then. And obviously you're not the cleverest, you know, you're not the sharpest nail in the box, right? So what makes you think that other you people took that as a call to violence? Just pay your fine and move on with your life. No, because I feel the law is unjust, right? But it's see not how unjust. It was unjust. It was unjust. Fine. Right, so what about Chelsea what Russell? With? What about Chelsea Russell? Do you think that what happened to her was unjust? Did she say something offensive to someone? She, she posted yeah. rap lyrics on her Instagram that had the N-word in it. It might be not offensive speech. It might be something else. It could be due with copyright. I don't know. No, no, it, the case. no. She was charged under the same act I was charged under because she posted rap lyrics on her Instagram in remembrance of a boy who was run over and killed in her estate. Uh, that, I think that was it was something like that was his favourite song, so she posted the rap lyrics for it on her Instagram, and she was charged under the same law as me. But you've been saying yourself that you're completely fine with there being legal consequences for the things that you say, so do you support
support her being dragged through court, yes. charged. <laughs> you, yes, you I actually do. Legal, okay, there should then. be absolutely legal consequences okay. for people who say racist things. You're an authoritarian. You are an authoritarian. Right, now the things that you said in your video as well, you said a few things against the state of Israel, right? You said a few things against the state of Israel, so that would probably by proxy make you an anti-Semite, so what's to stop the cops from charging you under the exact same act? Because it's a huge grey area, because basically it's grossly offensive, a completely subjective phrase. So what's to stop the cops from going, what he said is grossly offensive towards Jews and arresting you? What's stopping them? Because they could. They could come to your door right now and arrest you for saying that. And this is the very thing that you are cheering on. I'm cheering it on because, as I've said, there should be legal consequences because then this okay, will then. probably make people think twice before they go out and say something stupid and racist. Okay, then, well, you said something anti-Semitic in your video against the state of Israel. So what's what? The, you, you, what did I say? Go on, what did I say? You accused them of murdering Palestinians. Yeah, and that's a fact. Oh, right, okay, and that's anti-Semitic, I'm afraid. Because do, so, do, 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 do you want to know the funny thing is as well? Is you don't no, get to decide mate, if it's no, stupid. No, 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 no that's just a stupid argument. No, no, no but, listen, but here's the thing is, you don't get to decide if it's anti-Semitic. I don't get to decide if it's anti-Semitic. None no, of the people no, no, in the... No, 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 no let me make my point, let me make my point. None of the people in this chat get to decide if it's anti-Semitic. The fucking cops do. People who you think are going to continually keep serving you. Like, see, the thing is as well, see if a right-wing government comes into power and has access to Section 127 of the 2003 Communications Act. What do you think is going to happen to people like you? You're going to be fucked. You're going to be bent over in the shower getting the Pringles off me. Right, that is what's going to end up happening to people like you. So, so it's a slippery slope argument, basically. What? Slippery slope, basically. It's not, it's not even a slippery slope. It's basically, we've left the fucking door open no, for no, them no. to abuse apparently, this law. Apparently, if we, we've got to let you get away from saying something that's racist and anti-Semitic because in the future there might be a really right-wing government that might use it against left-wing people. Yes, correct. Potentially. Okay, because, and then we'll end up, well, all of us will end up fucked. You're literally cheering for a fascist tactic. A law, a, a, a law that has a massive grey area that can be applied, like, it's, it's not applied equally. It is absolutely selective prosecution, right? And you've, th that law is completely open to be used on fucking anyone, because all it is, it, gives to, it just gives the meter of grossly offensive speech, right? Totally subjective, and neither you, nor me, nor the public are the arbiter of what constitutes as grossly offensive speech. The police are. So Absolutely see, we are. But, but, you, uh, you said you agree with societal consequences, so no, evidently, that's, yes, the police, the right, the police are, are legal a consequences. of what is um, grossly offensive and what isn't. Okay then, dude. <laughs> I really want you to research this more. I'm actually starting to feel kind of bad now. You, you don't know what you're talking about, man. You don't know. Right, okay, so research me that. Go on, enlighten me. Okay, then. Social consequences is the public basically criticising the things that you say. For example, I could turn around and say, the earth is flat. You then absolutely have the freedom of speech to argue back with me and go, no, it's not, it's not flat, here are all the reasons why, etc., etc. You can turn around and go, that's a stupid statement. You're a dumb fuck for making that statement. I think you're a retard for making that statement. Those are social consequences. You could even, you know, if me and you were friends at one point, you could stop being my friend, you could call me an arsehole, you could tell other people he's a fucking arsehole. You can do all that. Those are social consequences. Legal consequences is when the government or the state arrest you and prosecute you for the things that you say. Right, social consequences are consequences from society. And do you think that the social consequences might infl inflict and influence the legal consequences? Inflict or influence, what do you mean if they influence. call the police? Do you mean them calling the police over speech they heard? Is that what you mean? Yeah. Right, okay, then well, what should happen is they shouldn't have that option in the first place because there shouldn't be legal consequences for the things that you say. Okay, so let's go back to the Abu Hamza thing. Uh -huh. You've just said there shouldn't be legal consequences. Do you think that okay. Abu Hamza there are was there legally are, right. there are certain um, things done wrong there are by his, yeah, his speech? Okay. After all, it's direct a, you're a free speech absolutist, violence. so here's, here's things. everything, anything goes. You've said absolutist, right? I've not claimed to be an absolutist at any point during this, right? There are certain things that I am happy with being restricted. Direct incitement to violence, right? And there's also also other things as well, like especially in regards to children, right? See if, for example, a paedophile 
just like messages some 13 year old going hey baby suck my dick right no he should be prosecuted for that because so you do then like... believe in legal consequences okay then for specific you just don't believe them oh, that they sake. should go as far as to then limit your um stupid okay, comments then. essentially incitement to commit crime and basically commit actual crimes uh, that i agree with you know say an anti-semitic okay. phrase and not get punished for it do you think that hurting people's feelings should be a crime uh, I think saying something anti-Semitic should be a crime. Okay, then, so anti-Semitism only, all that really causes is hurt feelings. Hurt feelings. Uh, no, it doesn't. Oh, really? Um, if you want to look at the amount of um, anti-Semitic crimes and hate crimes uh -huh. that have been going on, they've been on the rise, as has Muslim hate crime. This has been caused because oh, you've had by, oh, by the way, by the way do, you want, do you want to know, do you want to know who's doing Muslims the anti-Semitic violence? Files, and this has caused idiots to go around and start doing violent things. Okay. This has a knock-on effect. What you say is not in an echo chair, is, is not you just throwing it out to the wind. Uh -huh. It right. influences people. Okay, then. You know, members of the public have the agency. Who, who ran in the Finsbury Park Mosque. Uh -huh. He right. came out in court, read daily Tommy Robinson tweets. Okay. Should Tommy Robinson be arrested for incitement for violence? Okay then. Well, see how in your video itself, right? No, Tommy Robinson shouldn't be arrested for incitement to violence because he did not encourage that, he did not endorse that, he did not instruct that, he didn't tell anyone to do that. That man went and did that of his own volition, right? Same as if there's someone preaching... But he was and I'm not... reading Tommy Robinson's tweets and, according to his wife, would read them out loud to okay. his family. Right. And he, he did that of Tommy his Robinson own choosing. He that's did... one of the reasons okay, why he thought he should go and do this. Well, tell, tell you what then. What if someone watches your video... And then ends up hating me so much that they want to punch me and they find me and punch me. So that's your fault then. That's your fault. Um, basically, your words are what inspired them to do it. Like he did that well, because he heard your that. words. So I haven't said, I have not said, go out and punch Count Dankula. Hey, <laughs> now you're great. Now we're, now we're, now we're on to something. That's interesting because Tommy of, never of said that either. Tommy never said one. that either. I think either. speech is the better way to do it, like you and me are doing it now. Right? So, if someone goes and does it, it's not my fault. They went and did it on their own volition. <laughs> right. I didn't. I didn't say go and punch Count Dankula, but <laughs> you've had Tommy Robinson point a camera down the street and say all the people who live on the street are enemy combatants that are out to get you. I've never seen that video. That video exists. Right, okay. And if you could link it to me in the hangout, I'll watch it after this debate. I'm not I'm not denying its existence. Right? I just I watch it after the debate. Well right, okay. this isn't really a debate. That'll be fun. <laughs> we'll see you make a video about that. I'll be, I, I, make, I make think videos you, about things uh, like you know, about standing up for Tommy Robinson is the ridiculous thing you can possibly do. Tommy right. Robinson has nothing to do with freedom of speech. Right. But this is the problem, his speech is under attack. So basically, he's a, he has a controversial figure, and it's always controversial speech that needs defending. Like, for example, like you don't see makeup channels on YouTube getting targeted, so we don't need okay, to defend okay. their free speech because they're um, fine. Let me give you a perfect example. Uh -huh. uh, back in the day, I was heavily involved in the anti-EDL movement down in Leicester. My friend, Pierre, who was French, you know, yeah. <laughs> most French typical name possible, and you can look this up in the Leicester Mercury, the day before an EDL rally, two guys from the EDL were going around, knocking around um, Narba Road, I believe it was, and he was walking along, speaking to his family in French. They stopped him, said, why the, why the fuck are you speaking French? This is the you speak English, and basically proceeded to beat him. Okay. They were clearly influenced by Tommy Robinson's speech. That's interesting. Okay. But they chose to do that of their own volition. He has never instructed violence. He doesn't tell people go thing. around the street just, beating just up speech. migrants. Not in a vacuum. This is this causes people to go out and do stuff. You know, this is why okay. there needs to be hate speech laws and laws that regulate right. speech. Okay, just, just, not, just to ask you then. get idiots like that that will go okay. out and do violence because someone's told them that the Muslims are coming to get them. Right, okay then. Right. This is the thing: is he didn't? I don't. I don't believe he said the Muslims are coming to get you. Well, right. he said that the Muslims, you know, enemy combatants. So 
Right. Did he say enemy combatants are living in the street? Was this was this was this was this the street? street. Muslim street. Was was this the street? No. Was this the street that actually had three returning ISIS fighters in the street? Was this that street? Guys that actually went over abroad to try and kill our soldiers, and then they came back to live in Britain. No idea. Right. Okay. So I think that's probably an important factor that should be looked into first. You cannot just say. Because what about the rest of the people on the street? Right, well, here's the, the, here's, here's the thing. Here's, ISIS here's the thing as well. Like, like, here's, does, no, because that goes and influences. Why has there okay, been a rise? I'm not debating that. I'm not going crimes. to debate a video I've Why not has seen. Why has there been a rise in Muslim hate I don't know. I don't know like what happened in the no, video, so I'm not going to. Like, please let me. It's like him going out and mm-hmm. spewing ridiculous stuff. Take for example, um, this whole. You cut out. He was you've, exposing you've cut, you've, Muslim people. You cut out there. They hadn't been exposed. They'd already been arrested by that point. Right. You need to repeat. You're on trial. What, you need to repeat what, what you said. What you said doing, there. He's saying. Okay. Never mind. Any let's, male let's um, Muslim people, any Muslim Asian male, uh-huh. is a potential rapist and is a problem to you and your potential, potentially your child. When did he say and that? And you need to do, do something about them. So what happens? You were. What about the guy? Um, I can't remember his name. Um, Ali Dawa. Uh-huh. When he came to speak at the um, the free speech uh, event and was banned, yeah. look at the people and what they're saying. Look the how context of the J they are is it's being said to, to a dog, an innocent, non-human pet who can't be. Okay. Is that is that is that point there? Do you want to know? Do you want to know why they just that? The yeah, yeah, yeah. racism fruit that they are just eating from a tree and magically becoming racist and saying this thing that Tommy Robinson is also saying, or does speech actually affect? Right, you're, you're... do and think, and it is important why we have laws, Dude. because you're going to get people that step over the line and... Dude, 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 dude please, dude, right, you've made dude, several dude, points, dude, can I please reply? To think Fuck. Of what next to say? Okay. Why are the you re- engaging okay, this I'm melted peanut? coming through as well, right. See, the reason that they called Ali Dawa a paedophile is because when he, he got confronted about the laws of Sharia, where young girls who are underage can get married off to other men, People asked yeah, him, that was happening all over the world, dude. Yeah, there's that... instances of that happening in the in the. In Wait, let me finish. Let in, me finish. In the West, and let that me finish. Pretty much all the way through to the Victorian age. Let me finish, man. Right? Okay. No, no, no. Because the need context. Dude, you've made a point. Can I address your point? Like the whole point of discussion is you no, say no, no, something I'm not and I reply. No, no, no. I'm not going to let you say random stuff and not put the context in it that matters. <laughs> right, Peter. Are you a troll? Are you a troll? Is this all an act? No. This isn't an act. You're a real person. No. You genuinely believe I am, these things. I am. Do, I'm doing this because I think it's the right thing to do. Okay. I think your punishment was entirely justified. Right. I think I know, if you go to and jail, and it's I'll not feel... else's fault. It's your own. So if you, so basically, if you ever get arrested, hey, for you're your... going to get a massive paid out of it. Look at you. You're still making the same points over and over that I've already proved wrong. You're making points. No, and you haven't. I tried... Yeah, I have. I have, you haven't. You're just saying you've proved them wrong. Yeah, I have. I have in my mm. video. In my video, I proved all your points wrong. Like, you've even made points earlier. When I try and reply, you're just moving and rambling on and not giving me a chance to reply. Okay, you're basically... okay, then. Okay, okay. I'm, I'm, ra- I'm rambling there. Let's, let's, let's wind it back then. Right. Um, Al- the Ali Dawa what, situation... What do you want to reply to? Right, Ali Dawa. Do you want to... See the, what Tommy Robinson did with Ali Dawa? He fucked up, and I pulled him up for that to his face. I told him he fucked up. He did fuck up with the Ali Dawa situation, but do I know the reason why they called Ali Dawa a paedophile? Right, is because under Sharia, young girls can get married away. Yeah, it happens elsewhere in the world. Blah blah blah. We're not talking about that. We're talking about Ali Dawa specifically, right? Someone asked him, "So your twelve-year-old daughter, would you let her go off and marry a forty-year-old?" And Ali Dawa said, "Yes." Right, that's why everyone has such a problem with him that he would love allow his young underage daughter to marry a forty-year-old man. That's why people got really angry at him and called him that. Right, he thinks that having sex with underage girls is justifiable. Right, that's why people called him a pedo. Right, because only it's pedos. Not just Ali Dawa. This is a now a common insult against people. No, who are Muslims. Ali Dawa said that he literally said that, which is why people say that to him. Right, see if some, see if, see how grooming gangs. Right, I think it was maybe something like 84, 85 percent of grooming gangs in the UK all turn out to be Asian. Right, now you can turn around and go, oh, and whinge about that all you want. Right, that is a scary. Not about it at all. That's a scary percentage. That that is a scary percentage, right? And I think it's something that should be looked into. There's obviously something culturally there, which is why this is happening. Right, that's why people want to look into it. 
yeah, and people can look into it in a responsible way. How how the how can they though? Because you just you just said you just said this, and it ends up encouraging violence. You just said this is why there needs to be a point where you need to step in and you need to go. Okay, we need to do something about this guy because this guy has. He might be saying what is. Oh, it's unpopular. Right. But the problem is that encourages violence. That's a problem. Right, dude. That that means that nobody can fucking say anything. Nobody can say anything because you have absolutely no control of the public perception no, of the things you say. Absolutely can. Really? Right. Okay. Then. Well, you what, what is to, what is to stop me from going? The things you said to me in this video made me so angry and inspired me to go outside and kill someone. What's to stop Sorry, me you from doing that? Sorry, you said. Right. What is to stop? me from saying that the things you've said in this discussion right now inspired me to go and kill someone and there's nothing you can do about it and it's completely your fault because what you said inspired me to kill even though you didn't instruct it you didn't encourage it you didn't do anything like that what is to stop that the only thing that can stop it under this thing you're arguing for is for you to just not say anything at all for nobody to say anything just in case there's some I money out there that... and i defend myself in court You'd go to court and defend yourself in court, really, because yeah. I fucking tried that. Fucking Chelsea Russell fucking tried that. Base Damey tried that. The guy for Hall tried that, and the guy for Dundee tried that, and every single bit of it fucking failed, right? But And this is the exact thing that you are actually trying to justify and support. You are literally... Yeah, that's so completely you're, justifiable. Right, okay, then. You are, you are an authoritarian, then. You literally are an authoritarian. That is literally no, your advocate. freedom of speech. No, but you're not for freedom of speech. Rules. You are not for freedom no, of speech. You're not for freedom of speech in any aspect whatsoever. You've literally just said that my joke, a clear joke... Yeah, I'm for freedom of speech. You are not. You are I'm not. For, I'm for freedom of speech. No, you're not. I, I have never said you do not have the right to say what you said. Right, right. The point of having well, rights is that, the the is that you can't be arrested. what you said. Right. Are you happy? And I think you should be punished for what you said. Right, so then you don't support my right to say it. That's not... an anti-Semitic phrase. I know this might be news to you, but it's an anti-Semitic phrase. Right. Well, what you said about Israel was anti-Semitic, so bravo. Um, so basically what you're saying is, I support freedom of speech and I feel people should have the right to say things and then be arrested by the government, which means that they don't have the right to say it. Is that what you're saying? They absolutely have the right to say it. No, they don't. If they're getting arrested for it, what, right, you're a what troll. Is, what is so hard you're, to understand about this? You're a troll. You are a you troll. Can be, you can be for freedom of speech, but you can also be for rules and regulations that limit and enforce a, a standard that stops people from saying stupid and grossly offensive things. I really wish there was a law right now that stopped people from saying stupid things. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm actually in agreement with you now. There should be a law in place that stops people from saying stupid shit. Fuck me. Right. See, <laughs> this is... The, uh, the, you actually have to be a, You actually have to be a troll, mate. There's no way you're real. There is no way that you're real. No, it's because it's not a contradictory statement. Uh, it's a co right. It's not a contradictory statement at okay, all. Okay, okay, right. Well, well done. Well you, done. Well, the, well the problem is you can't realise, uh -huh. for, for some reason, yeah. that what you said was anti-Semitic and... Whatever, you know, yeah. you know, go to jail then. I don't care. Yeah, no, <laughs> you know, it's Schadenfreude to me. Yeah, yeah, I bet it is. Yeah, well, well done, you got me. Right, because there's no, there's no way you're a real person. There's no way that this is what you actually believe and this is how you actually think. There's yeah, I do. No that's why. That's why I wanted to talk to you. Why I'm here now, no, defending right. my position. You don't. You don't. You're a troll. Well, what have I been doing for the past hour? Trolling. That's what you've been doing. No, for the past, I've been defending yeah. my position. Okay. This then. is this is what I believe. I believe in freedom of speech, but I should believe. But I do believe that there needs to be an acceptable level, and there is a level where people do cross the line. I agree. You shouldn't be allowed to incite violence. I also agree that there needs to be a point where, if people are continually saying something that is racist, and this ends up inciting people, other people in that community, to go and do. Uh, commit racist acts or other acts of violence, this should be um, punished. For, for example, National Action. National Action is a prescribed group in the UK. Do you know who they are? Yes, I'm aware of National Action and National Front, yep. They right. actually, they actually National plan Action models, was a terrorist group they, they actually under the government's definition. This is why they got prescribed. They released a manifesto 
And one of the things in their manifesto was all about how you can sow social discontent in your community to turn your fellow um, Aryan Aryan race people, because they were a neo-Nazi group, surprisingly, uh -huh. and basically convince other people to join you. And basically, you get them to join you because you convince them to be racist. Right. Now, here's the thing. I believe that they had every right to be completely become a prescribed organization in this no, country. I, I feel I feel they absolutely should be prescribed as a terrorist group because they actually literally plotted murders. Yes. Like, they, yeah, I, I yes, feel they that did. That's, yeah, that's <laughs> why. I, mean, I agree why? with that. Because they believed in this ridiculous neo-Nazi white supremacist stuff uh -huh. that needs so, to be looked at right well, that needs what, to be what would you class about. yourself does this need to be brought up in grossly right. offensive because it might cause people to go out and commit stupid okay, murders then, so basically, so basically, um, event, <laughs> you had four people last year under this group that were arrested for this stuff okay okay right so basically nobody can say anything just in case someone no, 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 gets no, inspired I, no anyone can say stuff to win a certain but that, but that's boundary. A, no, you don't, you don't control I, that, though. You, do, you, don't, you don't control how but people understand what you say. You can be for freedom of speech and be for there needs to be a line where you just can't cross it because there is a line okay. where saying overly racist stuff is a problem. Okay, then. So what if I said, fuck white people? Would you ban that phrase? Why not? Well, so, so you would ban it? Yeah, why not? Right. Okay then. So fuck white people. You would ban it then. Okay. What about Israelis are terrorists? Would you ban that phrase? Why not? Right. Why would you ban that phrase? Why not? Why not ban? You know, as you just said. No, but why would you? you know, why would you ban that people? phrase? Why would you ban it? Right. Okay. So. Let's look at the situation in Israel. You have a situation in Israel mm -hmm. where the Israeli government is pursuing a literally an open air prison policy against the people of Palestine. Okay. Do you agree with that? Oh no, I've not I've not got a horse in that race. Well, you should because it's literally about 80% of all the problems in the Middle East are caused by this one conflict. So actually having a solution to solve this problem is really important. Right, okay then. So basically, uh, <laughs> Jews are causing a lot of problems and we need a solution in order to resolve it. Okay, got it. Please continue. No, you need a political solution. You need to show that, hey, Israel, this isn't on. So this is why I'm for sanctions, boycott, and divestment. Uh huh. Well, what? Do, see, how, see how everything that you've just said there. What if there's Israelis or Jewish people in the UK and people now go, "Oh my God, they're terrible terrorists," and start attacking them because of what you've okay, just said? Okay. You want to know this whole thing that's that's coming from Corbyn about him being an anti No, anti don't don't divert. Right. Don't divert. Please directly address. No, no, no. This, what, this uh, is direct, part of it. Direct, no, no, it's not. Directly address what I just said. That's the point you made earlier. Okay, you just okay, said well, bad. Okay, let's go back. We'll go back to that later then. So. Can you just repeat it for me? Right. You've just said, you know, things about the state of Israel, okay? People might take that to mean Jews as well, or just Israelis in general. What if people get inspired by what you've just said there to actually go out and attack Israelis who are visiting or living in the UK? So does that not mean that your speech, Shackles what you just said there, support. should be banned? Well, unfortunately, there are. They're called... Palestinian terrorists. Uh -huh. um, they, no, yeah, they not, 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 not just Palestinians. It could be is anybody. That this like... conflict is right. such a mess. There is there is no one blame that can be assigned to both okay. sides. Okay, that's and not I that's not the point the I made. Problem on the Palestinian side, that's... just as I call out right. the problem on the Israeli government side. That's not the, the point I made. Right wing Israeli government right. that is the problem. Come on, man. That's not the point I made. Right. The point that I made is. What is to stop just anyone? Doesn't need to be Palestinians. It could be anyone. It could be me. It could be anybody watching this chat. I mean, there's three thousand people in here right now, right? So what is to stop any of them being inspired by what you said to go out and actually hurt a Jewish person or an Israeli based on what you've just said by your own logic? Well, what, have I, what have I said? You've just I've not you've, done a specific call to to violence. <laughs> so I'd be fine. Yeah, exactly. You haven't, but you don't control that. You just even said earlier that basically the things that Tommy says, even though he doesn't instruct or call to violence or anything like that, that people get inspired to go out and commit violent acts. That's what you said. So what is to stop what you've just said, you know, inspiring people to commit violent acts by your own logic? What you just said should also be banned speech. 
But Tommy Robinson goes after continuously on a daily, almost daily, okay, for years, sp- uh, spreading hate about Muslims on okay. a daily basis. You're spreading hate for I us. I don't. Soon. I haven't made a career out of it. Okay then, no, not not yet. But you, it seems, seems something. But you've just said you're a member of boycott, divest, sanctions as well. Yeah, and that's yeah. a non-violent way to to help solve this problem. Mm, right. Okay then. But again, you're very very vocal about it. What's to stop people from taking the words that you've just said? Yes, because it's a violent? serious issue that needs solving, Dan Kill. I know there are serious issues in the problem, and you don't put much thought into them. No, but, but you need to actually think seriously about some of these things sometimes. But, these what if, things but yeah, it's a serious issues. issue. It's a very serious issue. What if some people take it so seriously? Based on the things that you've just said, yeah, and they're called Palestinian terrorists. No, 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 not just Palestinian terrorists. It could be anyone. It could be anyone. You've got no control over it. But again, I guess you better. But again, I I condemn violence. So why are you bringing up this thing? Because I've already said in this conversation, I condemn violence. Okay, then. But this is the thing. So I would. It doesn't matter. I've never. If someone someone comes to me and says, um, I do not. Uh, I I think from what I've said tonight should go off and I don't know join Hamas. Okay. I don't support that. Okay. And Tommy Robinson doesn't support people joining Nazi groups or anything either. Neither do I. I don't want anybody joining any kind of violent group. What do you think of Antifa? Why? Okay. So before we get to that, why are there so many violent incidents involving members of the EDL? And if you want to talk about paedophiles, what about his two top friends that were members of the EDL? They were, also they were the paedophiles they were, that were there uh, committing those acts hateful. during his reign dude, and tenure as dude, the leader of the they EDL. Were, they were low-level members. No, they weren't. They were, they were up yeah. there. They were high-level members. Tommy, I eventually, you, you not when Tommy was there. Want, but they were high-level not, members. Not when Tommy was there. Not when Tommy was there. Tommy yes, left it six. was when Tommy was there. Tom, right. They were members when Tommy was there. They were low-level members when Tommy was there. When Tommy was there. Right. They were his... One guy was literally his right hand man. Okay. Tommy, Tommy, to begin with, wrote a, 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 twi- a Twitter thing to defend Hope him. Hope this will pay for your work as an educator for those with special needs. Actually, no, I'm not going to defend a paedophile. Okay. Strange how he doesn't worry Dude. about white paedophiles. Dude, I but he can... worries about Muslim paedophiles. Fucking hell, man. So, you know, okay. quite strange that. See, see, the reason he's passionate what, what about it, it be? is because his cousin was a victim of a grooming gang. That's why he's so passionate about it. That's why he's so passionate about it. His cousin was a victim of a grooming gang. Okay, there's better ways than claiming a... How? What better ways? ...an entire community who 99% are not involved in any of these blame, activities. He does not blame why the community. Why is it okay to blame that entire community? He does not blame the community. He blames the culture. No, he blames the community. He's he, done this several times. Sorry, but he does. He blames the culture. Like, I've spoken to the guy, I watch his stuff, he blames the yeah, culture. Yeah, so do I, and he's especially... blamed the Muslim community right. several times. No, he, bl- he, he, actually primarily, he actually primarily primarily blames Pakistan, because in Pakistan, paedophilia is rife. Oh, so I'm, I'm sorry, it's alright if you, you know, call Pakistan men uh, from, from there, if you call them paedophiles, but, you know, anywhere else, it's not okay. I'm not sure what you meant by that point. Right, so... It's all right then to call male Muslim, pa- Muslim male Muslims from Pakistan paedophiles. I don't, to you well, and Tommy I don't know. People should be allowed to say it, but I don't agree with that statement. Just because good, some, just good, because someone is from Pakistan, you're learning. You're learning. You can be taught. You can be reached. Oh my God! Right, you have completely missed every single point that I've made. No, like, I I, like peanut, peanut. Do, do you think I, you're doing I've well stated here? Stated my point. I've stated what I believe. Right. Do you think I you're doing well defended here? Defended my point. You disagree with my point. That's fair enough. I disagree with your point. That's fair enough. This is what we're doing. This is a discussion. It's a back and forth. This is a good thing, Count. It's right, a good thing. Right. Okay. Then you do realise that you haven't swayed me in any aspect at all. Good. Don't expect to. Right. Okay. And I don't expect. I don't expect to sway you either. Right. I think. I think everything that like. We all talk about uh, willing to bet this guy you. could connect 9/11 to the Atlantic well, slave trade that, in a single whatever sentence. Man, whatever. Right, but anyway, we've established, we've established that you are an authoritarian. You are. No, I'm not. I'm for freedom of speech. No, you're not. I just believe you're that there should be not. rules regarding what speech you cannot say, and that there needs to be a line that if you cross it, you may, you would have to be punished for I'm it. Fu- so There's nothing wrong with having with okay, holding then, those two views. Okay, then. So basically, this is this is what I've gathered from your opinion so far, right? So, you say you're for freedom of speech, 
but you feel the line should be drawn and the line should be drawn when people say things even if they're non-violent not inciting violence you know any of those things the line should be drawn at certain things that do not call for violence just in case people perceive them as a call to violence no that, you need to <laughs> that is what you said right when it comes to this type of speech you need to be careful you need to be responsible about how you use your language this is why freedom of speech is important because language is important and how you use language is also important for example there is nothing funny about the phrase gas the jews i'm sorry but it's not funny it's well, anti-semitic that's, that's you cannot you. change the phrase you cannot change the context of that phrase yes, i'm sorry yes you can you yes you can man no you context. can't right on the phrase on its own without any kind of context or setting or background or explanation right the phrase on its own is a horrible phrase see when you have a cute little adorable dog reacting to it doesn't right? change it doesn't right. change its so context at all. that's that's your own subjective opinion millions of people found it funny right and that's up to them that isn't an objective thing was the joke funny was the joke not funny jokes aren't an objective thing in that way jokes are completely subjective you know you find them funny or you don't find them funny that's the way it works it's not for you to decide that right you were offended by the joke okay i don't fucking care i don't care that you were offended by the joke i couldn't give less of a shit that you're we're offended. talking is it's anti-semitic that's the point it's not it was not an anti-semitic joke the nazis were the butt of the joke Okay, explain to me why Gas the Jews isn't, and isn't not anti-Semitic. Oh, is, it, is this going to be fourth or fifth times the charm? Right? Apparently, yeah, because he's okay. still not explaining why it's depends, not anti-Semitic. Depends on the context in which it's said. Totally depends on the context in which it's said. For example, no, you're, it you're, say, you're saying it, you're saying it, it right doesn't. now. You've said it right now several times. Okay? So you're saying the context is irrelevant. You've said it far more times than I ever have in my life throughout this entire thing. So therefore, you're guilty of hate speech because you've just said the context of it doesn't matter. Well, fine, I'll go to the court and I will defend my position in court. Yeah, and you'll fucking lose. And you'll lose. Well, we'll see. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> There's yeah. only one way to find that out. Right, okay, but this, this is the thing is, the reason that you are going to court over it, which means your trial will probably last about two years, you'll need to get legal aid. If you don't qualify for legal aid, you'll need to fork out thousands and thousands for your lawyer. Money that you don't get back, by the way, even if you're found not guilty. So you've just had to go through all of that. And also, once you get arrested, you actually get kept in jail until your court date, because that's how hate crime works in the UK. You get kept in jail until your court date. So you're happy to have laws in place to go through all of that, even though you personally know you've not done anything wrong, but you're quite happy for these laws to stay there and put people through that. Yes, right. because there will be people out there. You're an authoritarian. Are you are an authoritarian. Not saying it in this edgy comedian bollocks way, that are to, to generally mean it. Okay, you you are an authoritarian. You're sitting there trying to de de declare yourself the arbiter of what is and what isn't permitted speech. Basically, you're so trying to be. So what, the Nazis so at the Union of Trial were just you know shouldn't have been charged and they should have been long let go. No, they literally killed people, mate. <laughs> like well, no, no they you, you 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 just said that. Uh, apparently, <laughs> speech is fine. No, about, they uh, didn't. They didn't speak. They that okay, trial. Dude, dude, they didn't. Right, the Nazis at the Nuremberg trial didn't just say things. They literally fucking murdered people. That's yeah, and what... if you actually look at the Nuremberg trials, you will see a lot of these guys basically said. Just following I was, I was just telling people to do things. I didn't yeah. expect them to follow my orders. Yeah, it's different when you're in a military position and people have to follow your orders. People don't have a choice. And that was a big question during the Nuremberg, Nuremberg trial as well. Right. Yeah, just following orders, that's a whole thing in itself, right? They were just following orders, right? But I'm, I'm sorry, man. I'm absolutely convinced at this point you're a troll. There's no way no, you can be making these arguments with any kind of seriousness. I am defending my position. Okay. You can have freedom of speech, but there needs to be lines because there are going to be people out there who basically are going to say anti-Semitic stuff, racist stuff, anti-Muslim stuff, who actually mean it. Uh-huh. Okay, then. And they will then cause problems in society and do, again, what um, National Action wanted to do. They wanted to start a race war 
by using this language okay. and sowing discontent in communities. So and what, this was it, how so one of the ways they they said you can do it. Just the same as the things you're saying could inspire people to fight and harm physically Israeli people. No, because I've never said the Israeli people should be harmed. Okay. So no, well, no, 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 just, no, no, Tommy's never said Muslims should be harmed. I've never said Muslims should be harmed either. But you're using that argument on us. But for some reason, it doesn't apply to you. So basically, you're holding yourself. I can use it because there has been an enormous rise in hate crime and violent crime against the Muslim community in the UK. There's so a, by, the way, by the way, there's also been a huge rise in anti-Semitic crime against the Jewish community. Do yes, you want? Right. Do, yeah, Why yeah, do, yeah. Do you want to know who's doing it? Muslims. It's Muslims doing it, Peanut. It's Muslims that are committing the anti-Semitic hate crimes. And they should be punished for it. Oh, yeah, but, but, but again, like, the Quran actively preaches that, so by your logic, we should also ban the Quran. You do realise there are different sects of Muslims, right? Oh, yeah, I do, but we're talking about the ones that actually, you know, practice the Quran, literally. The ones that actually do go out and, and they And the they, infidels. if they go out and they preach that, they should be, um, you know, imprisoned for it or put on a watch list. Mm, interesting. What's, what's you, you, this isn't, again, this is sticks very much well, in line with my position. You thing. can have freedom of speech, but there needs to be laws to to basically regulate it, to watch how far people may go and right. may cross over that line. Before, before we and may go, follow something right. to its logical end conclusion. Before we go, right, I'm just going to ask you a couple of questions, right? So do you think that I am a Nazi? No. Right. Do you think that I am a racist? No. Fascinating. Right. That's fine. However, do you think I'm alt right? No. Fucking hell, we found an area you're actually smart in. Right. But uh, see how places like The Guardian and so on that actually call me alt right, call me racist, call me a Nazi, things that are not true. I've actually been in public physically threatened by people. Who have believed yeah, and that shouldn't things. happen. I condemn that. Right. Okay. And so the Guardian and all that should basically be charged because their speech inspired violence. Well, then you need to file a complaint with the Press Complaints Commission. Oh no! They, you mean Epso? Epso are completely yeah. fucking useless. No, they don't do anything. And also, the Guardian are not governed by Epso. The Guardian resisted being governed by Epso, so they literally don't have a watchdog, which is why they can get away with as much as they can. Then you need to make a complaint to Ofcom then. Ofcom. Yeah. Nope. All that get handed over to Epso. Epso are now in charge. No, they're not. Oh, you can still make a complaint to Ofcom. You, you do realise that. Yes. <laughs> and Ipso still has the power to punish the Guardian. So either A, you have been misinformed by something, or you haven't done it. <laughs> uh, no, actually, I've, got a, I've actually got an Epso complaint that I actually just get a reply to today. Independent Press Stand Standards Organisation from an... I'm not going to say their name, I'm not going to dox them. I'm actually going through it with them uh, right Can now. Can you say Muslims in the megaphone? <laughs> right. Right, okay, and so it is Ipso. The Guardian resisted it. You can go through Ofcom, but Ofcom deal primarily with radio and TV. Basically, they did used to deal with newspapers, and then it got passed oh. to Ipso. Well, Ipso okay, was, then. Ipso was established Let's, after the phone you account. should run a campaign then to get the Guardian under Ipso. Okay, they, 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 that's their choice, though. The Guardian are just going to go, well, no. Then why not say, why you've got a, well, look here, you've got a legitimate case. You can say, from the things you said in my, in, in the old newspaper, uh -huh. have caused me to be um, physically but, but, threatened, but, but, physically but, harmed. But you said it should be punishable by, you know, law, legally. So it's yeah, not, it's not that's a, what I'm talking so about. You not, can be punished it's not by law. You can so be punished not, by Ipso, who yeah. is the regulator right, no, in that's, that area. That's something completely different. I'm talking about the police, the cops, right? The broken section. No, no you, you were talking about Ipso. Why, no, why you said the it's cops criminal law. Is, Ipso don't I, deal again, with I think regulators law. for press should exist. Ipso do not deal with criminal law. You said you said you supported criminal legal consequences for people that lie, right? And words that could inspire violence. The Guardian have done this very thing. In fact, so has... Well, then they should be punished. Fact, okay, then, so... You're, are you a Labour voter? Uh, I, well, I live in... Well, I live in Barnsley. It okay, so <laughs> doesn't that, matter what I vote. Right, okay, but are you a Labour voter? Is Labour the party you support? Uh, <laughs> difficult question. Um, uh, oh, I, I don't really know because it can depend what day you catch me on. Um, okay. Corbyn, to be honest, has been a really wet limp of a noodle leader. Sometimes he's good and on point. I think he'd be more dep better deputy leader, but 
I don't know generally who I would vote for for the next general election. Right. Well, here's the thing is, like, if you are more Labour leaning, right, uh, stand up to racism headed by your boy, Diane Abbott, uh, actually falsely branded me and Sargon as alt right, so does that mean they should be prosecuted? Because you said earlier that people who say things that could encourage violence should be prosecuted under criminal law. That is what you said. That's what you've well, been calling advocating. someone alt right. Uh -huh. isn't necessarily encouraging violence yes it does that's stating someone's political stance no so no, i no, I'd find, I'd find, you'd find it very hard to to say yeah that's encouraged someone yeah, yeah. to violence so if you call up but if you call a muslim a pedophile you're simply stating their you know sexual leaning so that's not a call to violence either but they're not a pedophile <laughs> no but the, what, what, if the muslim, what, what if the muslim is someone who is what if you're if calling is? look i don't call you old right uh -huh. because you do not support the alt right you don't seem to support the, the, the policies, so hence, you are not all right. Is, is that a fair assessment? Yes, that's a fair assessment. Good. So someone who is a Muslim, who isn't a radical and doesn't follow um, you know, Islam literally, are they a paedophile? Okay, that's, that's not the point I was making. I was saying, say that a Muslim is a paedophile. And I go, well, if, they are, if they are a paedophile, then guess what? They should go to court and have their day in court and be charged and go through the whole criminal yeah, process. Is, you're, you're totally missing the point I was making, right? See if someone calls me alt-right, right? Especially in this age of punch Nazis, right? People will come up yeah, and Yeah, and I disagree with me, that. Right, as, okay. But this is the thing is, places have done it. And as you've advocated for throughout this discussion, people who say things that could inspire people to violence should be punished under criminal law. That is what yeah, you've been advocating for. That's, okay, so th I think that's the case. Okay, so that means that, by your own logic, what you've just said there, that stand up to racism and The Guardian should be punished under criminal law. That's what you've said. Yes, if they, if they, if it can be proved in court that they have specifically incited violence, well, not, not, then, right, yeah. not, not, okay, so it's specifically incited violence now, not just said words that could inspire someone to commit a violent act. Yeah, because that would, that's what have happened. That person who threatened you because you were old right would have been inspired by someone's speech, probably, probably right, the so, Guardian so or it's, you so know, it's not, So it's not direct incitement then. It's someone taking what they've read and just of their own volition being inspired to commit violence. That's, again, it's, it's a difficult thing because, again, it's to not, this is what you've advocated someone for, has man. been, you know, influenced by... Uh, let's say a set of tweets and for example read them out religiously on a daily basis right. and then maybe goes and commits a crime then yeah i think there's a reasonable case this is the thing right you've made all these arguments against me people on the right i don't even consider apparently i'm not right actually with the things i believe i'm not even right wing but see how with the things that I believe are people like me, you know, classical but liberals you join and like that. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, because they're the only party that actually gives a fuck about freedom of speech. Oh, oh by the way, um, no, let, let me let me make my point. Let me make my point. Down let, in Kent. Let me make my point. Took someone let, to court for a meme. Let me make my point. Okay, sorry. Okay, right. we'll come back to that one then. Okay then. So basically, you've seen that all these arguments and things should be applied on me, Tommy Robinson, you know, people from our side, classical liberals, everyone in our hemisphere. But when we try and apply the exact same standard to your guys on your side, that's when you start going, oh, but, but wait, no, uh, never and change. So basically, you're holding other people to different standards than yourself. Okay, give me some examples then. Well, basically as well, when I says that what you said about uh, Israel, well, it, uh, people could conceive that as anti-Semitic and be inspired to go out and harm Israelis because of what you said. But you're turning around and yeah, but it's not that. It's not that. But it's not it, that complex. I haven't said go out and you know harm well, Israelis. I'm, Tommy's what I've never said, said is what the Palestinian I'm, government. I'm, what the Palestinian, the Israeli government is doing a policy of an open air prison around Gaza. Right. You just turned. You just turned around and said that is a problem. No, you just said no. I'm not. I have doing a problem that. with right. the Israeli government, okay. not the Israeli people. Did did you just says no? I'm not doing that, and then you just went on and did that in the next sentence. How is? <laughs> well, I've I've even advocated for non-violent means of how you can solve this and put pressure on the Israeli government to change the stance. How is that? Why am I inciting violence? 
because you don't control how people perceive what you say. Same as Tommy's not called for violence, I've not called for violence, you know, Sargon, PJ, they've never called for violence. But people always try and make the argument of, oh, people might be inspired by what you said to go commit violence, but that's not things, up to us. People take things too far. Like recently, well, what was how, the... What's um, to stop people taking what oh, you said too far? What's, what's to stop them? Um, Fuck me, I just didn't know my point, yeah. What was the guy who uh, punched, um, oh, the quickening? Oh, the SJW guy? No, yeah. that was the quarreling. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Um, I fully believe he should be uh, completely punished, punished to the full extent of the law. Yeah, but you also believe that Jeremy probably should be punished to the full extent of the law for the things he says. For what, has he, what has he done that has incited violence? What, I, he's never done anything that's incited violence. He's never done anything like that. Neither have I. Neither has Tommy. Yeah. Why? Uh, then, yeah, I, this, is, this is the thing. Him being punished is ridiculous. I disagree with Tommy Robinson virulently because there are numerous examples of him just saying blatantly racist stuff. Uh -huh. And bizarrely, when someone else, um, white or any different color pick, does the same exact crime, he doesn't have a problem with it. He doesn't say a peep on this. Why? No, he's called out Antifa, who are majority white on so many occasions. Yeah, and I don't agree with Antifa doing violence. Okay, but they do. They do. Yeah, and I don't agree with them doing violence. Right, okay, but this is but this is the thing is, you don't control how people perceive what you say. That's what's making this dangerous. This is the point that you're not getting, right? I can because talk about right? I can... can influence people. Right, okay. Yes, it can influence people. So what is to stop your speech against the state of Israel, inspiring people to harm Israelis. That is what, what have I said that is What have I said? What's, what, what's Portland Israel, said? What's than, Tommy said? What have any of them I, fucking I said? Think this their is the is wrong. Not, right. Is, is my is my policy stance on Brexit wrong? No, I'm gonna I'm gonna move on, man, because you I've explained No, you're so the one that's things. not getting it. <laughs> no, you are. I have said, right, you're making this, this, this claim for some reason that what I have said about Israel can somehow be interpreted as violence. What I have said on this podcast, well, whatever, um, basically, I disagree with the Israeli government stance on what they are doing to Gaza. I believe in a non-violent sanctions of, uh, of non-violent solutions to this problem of sanctions, boycotts, and divestment. Okay. What is violent about that? Well, this is the thing: is you being against the state? It's not Israel. violent. Your your oh, argument is ridiculous. Yeah, you're saying uh, yeah, that, cool. of course. That you're saying that me throwing a pillow at you is has somehow caused you to have a violent brain injury. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. You've totally you've totally missed my point. So we should just move. No, on. I haven't. You have. You uh, have. You're you're the one that hasn't got your point across clearly enough. It seems. Oh no! Th this is the funny thing: is there's about over three thousand people in here. They they all knew what I was talking about. They all knew. It seems like the only person who didn't well, get it was you. I don't care about their opinion. <laughs> Alright, okay. That's, 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 that's why I wanted to have a conversation with you. Okay, I'm not no, having a conversation with 3,000 plus people. Right, no, that's that's fine. Um, I, don't, I don't know where to go from here, man. Uh, I'm not what, sure. What, you, your, your analogy that somehow... Um, yeah, yeah, you know, bad, me bad, advocating yeah. against the policy of the Israeli government uh, and that advocating for a non-violent solution to the problem somehow encourages violence. Just admit it was a rubbish argument. No, <laughs> there's, no, there's no, nothing I'm... wrong with saying that you were wrong. Okay then, but you know, that's a big you're problem as well. You're, but that's another discussion. Yeah, your, your argument could easily, you know, inspire people to go out and commit violence, as you've advocated for. But again, you've made an no, argument. No, I haven't advocated you've made violence. An argument, but so you won't apply you're wrong. It to yourself. You won't, apply, you won't apply your same standards to yourself. That's what you're doing. You're basically saying, you shouldn't say this because it could inspire violence, but I'm allowed to say this because I'm not going to inspire violence because apparently you're magic and your words will never inspire people to commit violence. You're just this magic man that has this ability that nobody else on earth possesses. Okay, buddy. I've, okay. I've, I've asked you before, what about that? my statement on Israel is an incitement to commit violence? You, you, you haven't proved that at all. Okay, then. What if, what if, what if I say, to something completely different if, that I'm some sort of magic man. What if I say that I don't like Sharia law, I hate Sharia law. Okay, good, I don't like Sharia law either. Right, okay then. But the fact, but me saying that, will that not make people hate Muslims and possibly harm them? No. Right. So what if I say I don't like Muslim grooming gangs? What if... Would, would That's the, perfectly fine to say as well. 
<laughs> okay, right. Uh, I think I think I think we're done. I think we're done here. Is where you get people like Tommy Robinson accusing the Muslim community as well as other people online that do this, and then this uh, encourages violence against that community. That's the problem I have. Right. Okay then. Uh, I think I think we've covered everything that we need to cover, man. Uh, this is a uh, this has been very enlightening. Right. Okay. Well, <laughs> it went about as well as I thought it would. So. Yeah. Yeah. It went. It went even better than I thought it would. Right. But uh, it was good. Good chatting to you, man. Right. I'll talk to right. you later. Right. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> right. He can't be real. He cannot be real. He can't be real. There's no way he's a real guy. There's no, there's no way he's real, right? I I refuse to believe that he's real, <laughs> right? Well done, yeah. I got I did I got played, yeah. He was a he was a troll, so well done to him. And I'm sorry, I know that he's all donated money in super chats. I was just I was just madly engrossed in my conversation, so I'm gonna just spam all of these just now. I know people will probably leave. Fuck me, there's a lot, right? <laughs> yeah, I, yeah. Chat agrees. Yeah, but he was a troll. He absolutely had to be a troll. Um, I'll go through these super chats. Uh, can't this boy is Marcus. Such, uh, it's amazing to see how long you can argue with a tape recorder. <laughs> uh, can't this boy's real circular thought is truly uh, Dominic? Why are we having arguments with these people? Bola man hat. You've said gas the juice three times during the first two minutes. Context doesn't matter. Brainwash, seriously, after all this time, this bloke isn't getting it yet. I'm appalled. Electric Crusade Boogaloo. Uh, F. Stephen, Carol Stephenson, you will always be number one in our hearts. Press F. Press F for Carol. You will You will always be number one. Uh, Deplorabology. Uh, move to China, bootlicker. Uh, Benjamin. F. Dankulous Sanity, after listening to this guy. Campbell 300. This guy is thicker than pig shit mixed with flour. Callum McDonald, can you say this here? Tism is on quartering. A good one third of the audience don't know that it's being streamed from there. Um, da, 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 da. Oh yeah, sometimes Tism gets streamed back and forward between uh, the quarterings channel and my channel. Right. Fuck. Uh, AIDS, RIP Stefan. Uh, Deplorabology, Bowler Hat Man needs suicide. Nah, right, come on, don't, don't, don't post stuff like that. Uh, Samuel Condry, much love from the flyover states in middle America. Keep fighting for our free speech principles. You've got to stand for something or you'll fall for anything. Draw a hard line, do not waver. Uh, Detroit Albo, remove kebab. Brainwash, i.e. Spanish Inquisition, burned a lot of comedians in comfy chair. Uh, Maros Bali, educate yourself, Dankula, this guy's argument. Smash Toe Guy, hey Dank, explain this guy the dealio. I tried. Uh, Quinn Cottom, Bola Hat Man, so you've always been blind to cultural change. Lol, you literally just says you have no actual evidence. Chris Cap, Dan Killer, use this analogy. It's like the Holocaust, people kill Jews before, but not like during the Holocaust. Callum McDonald, when you realise ginger is just a rearrangement of the N word, that's true. Uh, Gander, I'm, I'm trying my best to catch up on these. There's an awful lot, guys, and I don't want to miss them. And uh, just keep pressing F for Stefan. Just keep pressing F. Um, Gandar all seeing sad they didn't accept the appeal what pisses me off is that they found the entire situation laughable for the wrong reasons um, tall dark and gruesome he's referring to the outrage of boy George or Divine appearing on top of the pops etc it was nothing like it is today that's true Dr Diddler can someone tell Bola that they're trying to convince somebody of something the burden of truth rests on you asking someone else to do the work is absurd uh, Daedric David chib this peanut uh, Jake of all trades uh, platforms should not be able to claim that they can't be held should not be able to claim that they can't be held responsible for things while simultaneously picking and choosing who they allow that's a good argument deplorabology gas bowler hat man right don't do that right kmac ladies and gentlemen we got them uh, gandar the all seeing lol matthew mcfadden no one has been hospitalized for six weeks because of a silly meme <laughs> i'm trying i'm trying to catch up on these guys there are so many uh, deplorabology, Bowler straw man is against freedom of speech, he, he in fact is. Uh, Jake of all trades, I'm for freedom of speech, but brainwash, all due respect though, it's kind of off topic. Bowler peanut man just converted me to a pro-choice. I believe it might be a heavy burden to live life hauling this huge <laughs> amount of extra chromies. Uh, Justin O'Toole, 2041, Chelsea Russell, 
Gandalf all seeing this man is Michael Kelso. The Travos, we should kill the gas, it hurt the Jews. Deplorability, you shouldn't go to jail for copyright either, that's true. Turbo Gaming UK, the joke is, gas the Jews is not the funny bit. The funny bit is the dog responding to it and not knowing what the fuck it means. Yes. Campbell 300, it was a joke. If it wasn't, I hope he's Jewish. The Roger, as a human being, I say, this guy does not represent me. Uh, Samuvi, is this man you're talking to a brainlet? A little bit. Uh, Perfrigert, perf, I don't know how to pronounce that. Uh, Bowler Fat Man says, gas the Jews several times. Isaac, this guy has selective hearing and cherry picks arguments. He did. Jake of all trades, this guy isn't a very social person. Billy Go, how would a jury define what is a joke and what isn't? Mr. Wonderful, I'm not repeating that. Twiddly Nips, uh, Gas the Jews, Bowler Cuck Man 2018. You said it, we all heard you, you little slimy lamey. Arrest him, lads, and don't try any of that context trash either. You don't have the right anymore, you anti Semitic Nazi. Um, Michael Pickovich, uh, like I said before, Dank, this is here as a greasy pig waiting to be someone's bacon. Right now, he's your bacon, mighty tasty, right? Uh, Langer Lord, should GD Salinger be held accountable for the death of John Lennon? Fuck, that was a good point. That was a very good point. Uh, I actually used that argument in my trial. Uh, Jake of all trades, this guy won't stop shooting himself in the foot. Uh, turbulent thrombosis, debate is stretching it. Rape is more akin to what's going on here. Like, I think, I think this guy is sort of a performance type guy. Uh, I don't think he's real. I think he might, he's definitely got to be a troll. Uh, Adam Sharland, this guy is a dumbass. Mark Chapman blamed Catch on the Rye for killing John Lennon, who is the moronic fascist. Uh, Gizmo Tunes, context, continually removing context is dumb. David Miller, the context to the G the J is it's being said to a dog, an innocent non-human pet who can't be anti-Semitic and has responses of cute dog stuff and how absurd it is because it's a horrible, it's horrible but he's a pug and has no idea that it's horrible. True. Uh, Mr. Westbend, he doesn't listen to the arguments and instead uses the time to think of what next to say. Why are you engaging this melted peanut? Uh, Min, uh, I don't know how to pronounce that. Could you ask the guy to stop blowing into his mic so bloody much? Jesus Christ. I did say to him beforehand, uh, Bowler Hat Man, just in case you're still watching, uh, if you can invest in a pop guard, they only, they only cost like a few quid. Uh, Eric Sparrow, make Tony Hawk's pro skater great again. Dan Travers, dude, does this idiot not understand what a debate is? This what. This wasn't really a debate. Debates have like time limits and mediator and all that stuff. This this wasn't a debate. Like people, I think there should be a new term invented. There should be debate and then YouTube debate. A YouTube debate is a totally different element on its own. So I think we should start calling it that instead. Um, Skull gaming, smell the spectrum, electric crusade boogaloo. I get the feeling this guy gets triggered by Ram Ranch. Uh, deplorability. Uh, Bowler Hat Man, people like you ruined the UK. Um, Jake of all trades, insults based on bias generally hold some validity. Oof. Bold. Uh, Skull Bevy, Mel Smell the Spectrum Part 2. Brainwash, so he's for controlled speech. He is for controlled speech. Yes, he stated that several times. Uh, Jake of all trades, as a Jew, I find Peanuts remarks offensive. See, there you go. You might be so angry that you're inspired to kill kill a bunch of Christians now. <laughs> uh, Captain Kirk, I can smell the spectrum here. Jake of all trades, arrest him. Dan Travers, this guy needs a new bridge to hide under. Uh, Puffregerta, freedom of speech, so long as it's not free. Skull Gaming, I'm going to be a spectrum sniffer dog with this. Fucking hell, there was a lot of these, wasn't there? I'm trying I'm trying my hardest, boys, to like, <laughs> to like fucking get through these because I'll feel bad if I miss them. Jake of all trades, he crossed my anti-Semitic line. Brainwash, this, the tism is strong with this little one. Connor Lowe, shekels for your support. Hundreds of fucking hell, thanks very much, man. Uh, Jake of all trades, we need a final solution. Yeah, I, I did raise an eyebrow a little bit there when he said solution to the Jews. I was a bit... I know, I know a certain group of people that you might, <laughs> that you might want to have a chat with. They're looking for members. Uh, Gregory Hurst, donating to the Get Bollerman uh, Pop Filter Fund. Uh, thinking man, sir, you just attacked the Jews. Nuke the ice caps. How do you feel about the Jews fleeing Europe en masse? No connection to anything happening in Europe right now. Nothing you can think of. The Jews are fleeing Europe. 
I, re- I even watched a chat where Jews were basically like, yeah, we need to fucking bail. I, wa- I, wonder, I wonder what could be causing it. Uh, thinking man, sir, you have attack- attacked the Jews and Israelis. Uh, HS, Bola can facts be hateful. Uh, the Roger X3, I am inspired. See ya. Oh shit, uh, 33 minutes ago. Um, shit. <laughs> The Vincent K. Hope this will play f- pay for your work as an educator for those with special needs. Uh, Min, I'm not trying to be rude, but I am a hundred percent convinced that this man is genuinely autistic. Well, the th- well, the thing is, like, I, I, I am, <laughs> like, like, I am. You know, it's not a fucking secret now, thanks to my fucking mods. Um, I don't know. I wasn't getting these vibes. I was just getting sort of Dunning Kruger and ignorance. I wasn't getting any tism vibes. Uh, thinking man, you hate Jews, you have ex- exhibited hate speech, uh, the real Laker, keep up the fight, you saint, that's wholesome, uh, Linus Lavridsen, willing to bet this guy could connect 9-11 to the Atlantic slave trade in a single sentence, uh, the Red Cyclone, buy a new foam helmet for peanut, uh, Alan Kennedy, he believes in freedom of speech, until he does, it's quite obvious, dank, shake my head, um, Dr. Ezekiel, bowler hat, bowler hat man has overdosed on blue pills, uh, Hoodoo Brown, is this guy messing with you? I think he was. I think he was. There was no way. No way he was real. Uh, Gregory Hurst, I'm for freedom of speech as long as speech isn't free. Totally not an authoritarian, I swear. And for God's sake, get yourself a damn pop filter. Uh, Tack Diesel, stop adding fucking super chats to the list. I'm I'm trying to fucking get through these. Um, uh, Tack Diesel, saying something is different to doing something. Correct. Uh, deplorability. Now I understand George Washington. I, I I say this almost every single fucking stream. Americans, you, you Yankees across the pond with your constitution, cherish it, hug it, keep a copy of it next to your bed and kiss it before you go to sleep every night. That's what you should do with your constitution, right? Uh, Joshua Schmidt, pop Vilter and echoes. Uh, Dr. Ezekiel, Bowler Hat Man goes Islamophobic. Random FX. So the best way to get a yarn with your, your ginger bob bag is to make a few lefty vids. You can't argue with stupid, you know that. Yeah, I know, but sometimes it's fun. It's good content anyway. Um, Linus Lavridson, can you say Muslims in the megaphone? This, this totally isn't going to get clipped. Muslims. That's, that's totally not going to get clipped. Any time there's a terrorist attack and someone go, oh, they don't know who the man, who, who, what man was responsible, people are going to clip that, aren't they? Should have thought that through. Um, private, private. He wants Muslims on a register for reciting the Quran. Hate speech. Uh, SC, Marcus, he is a troll confirmed. He is getting a laugh, mate. Stop repeating yourself. Cheers. I know, I know. Uh, it was still, it was still fun to watch, though, wasn't it? Uh, Electric Crusade, Boogaloo. Oh, frick, this empty peanut husks live lives close to me uh no docs no docs no docs i know you didn't say it but just still don't, don't say anything like that uh jake of all trades can't fix stupid uh bio i can taste the soy dripping down from his brows um private private diane abbott said white people like to play divide and rule on twitter should she be prosecuted no she won't because she's diane abbott dan travels have i ever told you the definition of madness yeah Nice little Vass quote. Well, I know it was originally Einstein, but let's, tr- let's credit it to Vass instead. Uh, Jake of all trades. Well, time to defend Dank's honour. I'm going to hurt some Israelis in the name of a melted arena. Um, Kib, Dank, he is on the spectrum. Be slower. Uh, Barrett, rules for thee, but not for me. Joseph Clover, too much spectrum. Brainwash, he better not care about us. Hashtag gas the hat, right? No, no, none of that stuff. Yo, Dank's, how much does a pint of your favourite beer cost? I don't go to pubs, man. I drink in the house. I'll, I'll, I'll probably have one of these <laughs> like, af- after that fucking stream. Um, <clears throat> uh, HS Marcus, it's amazing to see how long you can argue with a tape recorder. Uh, gotcha, son, slow clap. Hoodoo Brown, I see that guy under the bridge every day as I pass it. Stop adding fucking super chats to the list, boys. <laughs> right, I'm, I'm trying my hardest to get through these. Uh, gotcha, son. Slow clap. Uh, the big wall. He called Gaza an open air prison. Prisons are bad. Millions of innocents living in a prison is, I'm bad. 
Um, it would be just to, to to free these prisoners, calling Gaza an open-air prison and thus a direct call to violence. How can one prove that this is fucking dumb? Uh, Lucy and the Witch. Crowder got splashed with beers by some aggressive lefty. Thoughts on the stunning bravery from such upright people. Hamtaro is love Hamtaro is life. Yeah, I've seen that. And it was even even the way he threw the beer, he kind of like went, ah, ah, like a wee pissy thing, man. I thought it was quite funny when Crowder did. He turned up, he Crowder turned up dressed as a fucking genie. <laughs> like, fucking hell, man. Um, Ollie, 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 a beer for your patience, mate. Uh, the thinking man, he looks like Mark David Chapman. Zach DeKiko, nice job, man. You whipped him like it was 1861. Gotcha, son. F. F for my boy, Robbie Rotten. Uh, the Shadow Loaf knows, sorry, dude, I'm pretty late to the stream. That, that was, what was that no pop filter using blowjob Mike Peanut just now? Rooster Snake, shoot your mod now. My mods, my mods kind of have free reign to do what they want. Um, it's Hampo. The guy said that Johnny down the road calling you a prick is the same as the cop or smashing down the door. Uh, Jacob Menino, I'm for free speech, unless it's against my views and how I think the world should be. Bola. Uh, Zenzuru, I want to see Bola Hat straw man debate text. Uh, Aaron Brown, tell Marek Atkinson he's a Jew. What? <laughs> Up there are, 1916. Hi from HMP, Sonny Sutton. Uh, the Shimada Bros, call it a freeform debate. Freeform debate, that's, that's generous. Campbell 300, uh, just making you read more super chats. Fucking hell. Uh, Smoky Bar, that was a tough wank. Uh, Halo Spartan, I have never seen such a hypocrite on a completely unrelated note. I just saw a swastika on a commie truck and cross out and people were complaining about it. Oofed. Unlimited creativity indeed. Uh, Campbell 300, and again read this super chat. Fuck you, Campbell. <laughs> Fucking hell. Quinn Corton, uh, screw you, I'll give you my Yankee shekels. Read the super chats. You're all, f you're all fuckers. Cummies and my bummies. Eugenics isn't looking so bad all of a sudden, is it? Fuck. Uh, um, Brandon Pearson, once you control something that is free, then is it still really free? Uh, Joseph Clover, oops, I slipped. Matthew McFadden, did I hear don't post more super chats? Uh, Fieldo Bears, are you on alt tech? Uh, I'm not sure specifically what that is, but I'm not. Uh, Campbell 300, is this even a super chat? Joseph Clover, I think we heard no more. Heimdall's gate, let's keep this bastard on for two more hours. Chub dick, aye, it's me again. What happened? Did that just disappeared or not? Uh, aye, it's me again. Can you say holy shitty on peanuts titty? Uh, Michael Mangan, Palestinians were out in the streets celebrating after all the European Muslim terrorist attacks. Muslims sur surgically removed their daughter's clitorises. Cheeto bandito, ooh woo, stream no stoppy. Never mute. I don't have anything to say. I'm just adding to the list. I don't have wanker. anything to say. I'm just adding to the list. You wanker, kissy face. Joseph Clover, just another super chat. Right, I've caught up. I've caught up. The list hasn't refreshed. No, no, the list, the, the list refreshed again. <clears throat> Ozzy and Roberts, the quickening some peanut. Uh, James Sutter, I tried talking about your case in my class but most of the class wouldn't let me speak and said your dog should be taken away and your girlfriend is stupid for not dumping you and that is why universities are failing uh, to plorabology, make a porn channel called Count Wankula, that is actually my uh, chat bait handle I actually don't, I, I, I make that joke all the time, I don't actually have a chat bait, but can someone check and see if there's actually an account called Count Wankula Um. Heimdall's Gate, keep going. Josh the Amazing Animator, you're not my mum. Quinn Cotton, mm, Shekels. Sam White, just another super chat. Papa Bear, I just had to take a damn nap. I'm going to upload it so I can watch the debate later. Uh, sh the Shadow Loaf knows Muslims and Echoes. Here's your refill, sir. Slain there. By the way, we Hellhound Syndicate wrote some new songs. Thanks for the inspiration. Bless you. Okay, Hellhound Syndicate. The guy wants to promote, I'm guessing that's his band. Hellhound Syndicate then. Um, Quinn Cotton, mm, Shekels, Sam White, just another super chat. Uh, Papa Bear, I just had to take a damn nap out of fuck up read that one. Uh, I'll keep this up. I'll keep this one up on the channel uh, for a little while and then I'll migrate it to my uh, streams channel. Um, Joseph Clover, Shekels, The Gabber, Gotham Lads, Campbell 300, Sue, 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 Super Chat, Fieldo Bales, Gab Mines, etc. Adam Berry, can you say gas the Jews in the megaphone? No, that's one that I'm not going to do. 
the year is the year is two thousand and twenty eight. Count Dankula is still reading out fucking super chats. Right, please stop. <laughs> like for real, please stop. Right, because I actually want to go now. And every time, and it's happened before. Well, I end the stream and a super chat comes through, and I end up feeling like extremely bad. So, legit, legit, no more, please. Okay. Oh my god. Um, Field of Bears, Gab Mines, etc. Adam Berry. Oh, right, I've read those. Roach Dog Jr., Daddy Don't Go, Rain or Dine. Would you shatter the glass table as I lay underneath it? No. Private, private, read my super chat. I own you, slut. Heimdall's Gay. I agree with at Adam Barry. Benjamin, full skin reveal for my birthday money. Guys, at this point, at this point, I'm just an expensive text to speech, right? I'm just an expensive text to speech at this point, so I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna end the stream. Okay. So like I'm gonna shut the stream down. Okay, Campbell 300 caught up yet, yeah. uh Mr. Razak. It's okay when we do it, lol. Okay. I'm gonna end the stream now. Please, please stop. If I end this and a super chat comes through and I don't get to read it, I'll be very upset. But <coughs> good bounce. This was a good laugh. <laughs> Thanks very much guys, right? I'll see you later.